the way he sees me, the way God sees me, the way he painted it. I didn't think that I'd look like that. I'm Brian Peterson, and I paint the faces of the homeless. When painting sell, so, we use the proceeds to help the person in the painting. I'm Kimberly Sandoval. I was homeless for 34 years when I met Brian, and he decided to paint my portrait. How did you decide to start painting homeless people in your neighborhood? Night after night, I hear these screams coming from outside my window and kind of either ignored it or said, oh, there goes the screaming homeless man. But it was that guy who kind of got my attention. And two days later, I went out to meet him and he starts telling me about his life and his story and his journey. And in that first conversation, something inside of me was just like, hey man, can I paint your portrait? I was seeing something in him that was beautiful behind the ruggedness, the smell, all that stuff, you know? I saw to who he actually was. We have tight relationships with a couple clients, not all of them, but one lady in particular, her name's Kim. About 34 years I've been on the streets. At the age of 16, I was getting raped by two acquaintances, and back then you didn't talk about it, so I never came out with it. Um, instead, I went the other way. I started rebelling, started stealing, started into drugs, men, the whole nine yards. It was one bad decision after another. Kim, right This there. is Kim, yeah. I remember actually running into her years ago before I met her and being like a little intimidated by her. She came rolling through downtown Santa Ana and everybody's like, oh, hi Kim, hi Kim, and I noticed she was like the queen. I met Brian at one of the lowest points of my life. Brian showed up with Chinese food one day and it was awesome. New. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. Remember, I met you when I was right here. Right there. That's your spot. That's where I was living when I met Brian. What was it like to see yourself for the first time on that canvas? When he actually did it and he revealed it, it was just amazing. The way he sees me, the way God sees me, the way he painted it, I didn't think that I'd look like that. Brian gave us the homeless a voice. She actually reminds me a lot of my mother. And I've had broken parts in my relationship with my mom that Kim's helped me heal, you know? And so me and my mom have a better relationship now because Kim said yes to a relationship with me. We feed off each other. He reminds me so much of my son. And, he, and I'm very honored that he told me I remind him of his mom. We're in Orange County, one of the wealthiest counties in the country, and yet there's a homelessness problem here. How is your painting addressing that? When painting so, we use 50% of the proceeds to help the person in the painting. Some may ask for a bike or a hotel room or to visit family, whatever it may be, and we facilitate the availability to do that. So this is where you got the food for the first meal you two had together? This is the place. She loves Chinese food. <laughs> You were able to sell that painting to someone who's supporting your initiative, and what did you guys decide to do with that money? Brian took me shopping, I bought some personal items, and I bought my bike and trailer. Seven speed Schwinn Cruiser. Schwinn Cruiser, that is classic! And actually going into a store and buying it and not have security follow me out was just, it was a different feeling. When I met Brian, I had a darkness in my eyes, I didn't see anything, and he just helped me bring it over to where I see differently now. A very unlikely friends, huh? Yes, very much so. And what do you think you have in common? God. Yeah, I think our faith struggles connect us more than like victories. Sharing positive things in your life is always good, but I started noticing that I started to connect with clients when I shared my vulnerability with them. Kim's daughter is now out of the foster care system and she needed some money to pay her rent. And right around the time she was shorting her rent, Kim's painting sold. So Kim took a few hundred dollars and asked me to write a check for her daughter's rent. It was a wonderful feeling. Because all my kids is like, I chose drugs over them. I was there for them physically but not emotionally. And to be there for her at that moment and just say, here, it felt great. This is why Faces of Santa Ana exists. It's way more than just the painting. It's to restore lives, restore families. And uh, we got to witness that, like live and in the flesh. Brian's my lifeline, and I hold on to that. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have the portrait. I wouldn't have any of it. I wouldn't be sitting here. You know, so I hang, try and hang on to that every day. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, Tim. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta get some pork shakes. <laughs> you had to throw them. That was even better. <laughs> okay. I'm eating your sweet. Your happiness is intertwined with your outlook on life. Yeah, that's true on your impacts. I think this one works perfect. Your home is a pleasant place from which you draw happiness. <laughs> so you're not homeless. I'm not homeless. Because you're happy. Yep. <laughs>